happy Thursday. You made it. You made it to the end of the week. You made it halfway through Thursday. It is 1224. I know I am six minutes early, but I got to do this video. Then I got to make lunch and then I go back, got to go back to work. So sorry, I'm hopping on here a couple minutes early, but I promise you it'll be worth it. I promise you that. If you've enjoyed this video series, please give me a thumbs up down there, a thumbs up or a heart, whatever emoji you want to throw at me is fine. I don't discriminate. Um, but I'm so happy that we've done this this week. I think you and I have both learned a lot. We've been working together on this. You've asked some great questions. I've had clients ask me questions about things that we're talking here. I've had non-clients ask me questions about things that we're talking here. And I'm just so excited to be able to just bring this training with you. One thing to look forward to for next week is I'm going to be doing a live at some point next week teaching you the things that we are going to leave in 2020. These diets, these whatever changes are going to stay in 2020, but you're going to have to wait and come back next week to be able to hear that. So, but let's get started on today. If you're watching this live with me, if we're here in real time, give me a team live down in the comments. If you're watching this replay, please give me a hashtag team replay. I know Gab's been doing this. Thanks, Gab. Um, I'm just so excited to be here with you guys today. Let's start rolling into this. So we're going to do a little recap um, so we can know more about this. So day one, what did we talk about? We talked about what has not worked for us in the past, what we've tried, why it didn't work, why we struggled, and where we are now. Things that we tried in the past clearly were not the solution. So that does not mean that we should go back and do them again. It does not mean that we need to dive back in and say, you know what? Keto didn't work the first time. Now it's going to work again. It does not work for everybody. It's not sustainable in the long run. So ask yourself that. What's the change? Was this actually built for me? If not, we're not going there. If it was not built for you, you specifically in mind, we're not going there. We're not doing it. We're not getting it done. Day two, we talked about creating awareness because what? Yeah, I heard that awareness precedes change. We talked about making awareness because awareness precedes change. If we don't know what we're doing, what we're not doing, then how can we change it? How can we better ourselves? How can we do so much better? We need to create awareness to make change happen happen. So how do we create awareness? We track our food for a couple days. We do a time audit of what's going on. We look at ourselves and our habits and our environments and say, what am I missing? What is not working? What is setting me up for failure before I even start? So let's create that awareness so we can what? Make change. Yes. Okay. So on day three, we talked about Building your plate. We talked about what we needed after we've created that awareness. What was missing? Was it the fiber? Was it the lack of variety? Was there not color on your plate? Was it you're skipping sources of protein and just eating carbs and fat all day long? This is what the creating awareness will tell us and lead us where we need to go. This is something that I work closely with with my one-on-one -on -one clients. After we create that awareness together, we start to make changes based on what we've learned. So build that plate. Get your protein in, get your starches, get your fruits, get your vegetables, get your dairies, get the fiber, get it all in. Make sure it's balanced and look at it through a critical lens. Could I have done better? Could I have planned better? Could I have executed this better? What is missing from here? What do I like about my plate? What makes me happy? Because food should make you happy. Food should be fulfilling. Food should help. Food should be the answer. Not an emotional answer, but it's nourishing. We can't stop eating. We can stop dieting, but we can stop. We can't stop eating. And number four, today is day four. We are executing. We are putting it together. I have now given you, pulled out all the tools out of my pockets. I've laid them all out on the table for you. And now it's time for you to put your plan together. So start with what's worked in the past. Create that audit. Why did not it? Why didn't it? Why did not it? Why didn't it work for you? Why did you struggle with it? Why was it so hard? Day two, start to create that awareness. After you write down everything that didn't work, create awareness of yourself and your environment, your surroundings, your habits, your tendencies, all of that. Three, build that plate and now it's time for us to execute. Once you have what's been missing, you can make it as a T-chart. What's been missing, what aren't you doing and what do we need to do? Start to set those small goals. Don't go too crazy. Don't set big aspirations that you're setting yourself up for failure for. Set those small goals that you know that you can realistically hit 
day after day. Now, if you have a big weight loss goal, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 pounds, you're not going to lose that in one month. Break it down into smaller goals so you have a better focus. So you know exactly what you're going for. You can measure your success saying, okay, I'm down one pound this week. What did I do that worked out really well? I still had wine. I still had chocolate. I still ate dessert but I ate really good amounts of vegetables this week. I love the fruits that I had in there. My meals made me happy. I felt better and that's what matters. So I want you to go through and create your plan and now we have to put it into action. That's what I'm challenging you to do. And if you're getting there and you're like, Emily, I am stuck. I'm so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do next. I need your help. I am here for you. I'm in my messages all day long answering questions from people. And this is an open invitation for you to hop into my messages and say, hey, I need your help. I'm a little confused here. Can you help me go over this step? Execute this better. Make sure I'm doing the right thing. Shoot me a message. That is what I'm here for. And if you want even more one-on-one tailored help and experience, then fill out my application and let's start working together. I do have a few more spots open for working with me in January. We are almost through the first third of the month. The first, if we're breaking it up in thirds, you know. Um, So keep that in mind. If you're ready to work with me and you're ready and you have questions and you're motivated and you want to see this in action, Let's get on the phone and talk together. I've had so much fun doing this this week, guys. I am so happy to be here with you. If you ever need anything, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. I'm ready to talk to you and help you through this all. Come back next week for a training on what we're leaving in 2020, why it didn't work in 2020, and what we're gonna bring into 2021 together. So thank you so much for watching, guys. High fives all around. Have a happy weekend. We'll talk to you soon.